1904, a year etched in the chronicles of the history of Bangalore. The dawn of a new era in education and the birth of a center of knowledge. Its humble beginnings can be traced to the first French missionaries who had started St. Joseph's College. Named after St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus became the patron saint of the school. Intended for British settlers, the school grew in popularity. Soon, the French missionaries realized that Indian boys too needed a section of their own. And history was made, with the birth of an Indian section in a cramped little basement. Christened as the native school, it rapidly filled up with enthusiastic students waiting to quench their thirst for knowledge. Thanks to the teeming, eager students, Father Blaze, the first principal, initiated a move to the imposing edifice at the junction of Museum and Residency Road in Bangalore. This was when the first independent structure came into existence and was named St. Joseph's Indian High School. 1912, Father Okutoria took over as principal. Under his able guidance, the school simply grew in abundance. He equipped the school laboratories with the best of equipment then available. No mean achievement in his time. Bubbling youngsters once filled these corridors with the energy and vitality that comes with youth. These walkways have for long reverberated with the laughter of a hundred young voices at play. 1928, Father Cyril Brown was appointed principal. He initiated the house system, the annual school socials, societies and the old boys association in 1929. Scouting and sports received a fillip with the acquisition of South Parade at MG Road. Carving cultured men who will be principled men in society, molding little boys who will carry this great nation forward. 1937, the school is transferred to the Society of Jesus. Father Brown hands over charge to Father Joseph Coilo, SJ. 1943, Father William Picardo, SJ, takes over as principal. A gifted orator, ardent nationalist, inspiring teacher and keen sports fan, the school flourishes under his stewardship. 1958, Playgrounds have always been an intrinsic part of school life. Father James Coilo, SJ, principal from 1958 to 1965, recognized this need. In 1961, he effected transfer of the middle school section to St. Joseph's Newfields. The new building develops further and a first floor is added almost single-handedly by Father Charles Andrade, SJ. 1968. Father V. Farias, S.J., is handed the baton of principalship. 1970, from the dimly lit cellars in St. Joseph's European High School to a magnificent location in Newfields, complete with a huge playground, an exciting journey had ended. Now, a new one began, more promising and sparkling brightly of good things to come. Many were the giants that passed through these hallowed portals during this time, teachers and taught alike. A movement in time and a moment to be cherished forever. An event of mammoth proportions and a legacy that will be remembered by a series of generations. 1973, Father Dennis Coelho, SJ, takes charge as principal and continues the good work till 1978. 1978, Father Sunit Prabhu, SJ, is appointed principal and a sea change takes place at the school. Vital elements like the library, swimming pool, gymnasium, a new auditorium and the SAI sports hostel are added to the school's infrastructure during his 10-year tenure. The school also takes a step towards information technology with the introduction of computers, one amongst few schools in the city to do so. 1988, Father Lawrence Pinto, SJ, takes over as principal. He follows his precursors by adding a new canteen and a table tennis complex 